No doubt this morning it was a very, very busy one. Spot on. Tim Deegan last night said, hey, uh, isolated, possible isolated tornadoes between 4 and 7 a.m. for Putnam, St. John's, and Flagler counties. It was on our website. This morning, we had two tornado warnings between 4 and 6 a.m. Where were they? Putnam, St. John's, and Flagler County. That's pretty spot on. The one thunderstorm which caused the most damage moved through Putnam County right about 4.15 a.m. Caused some wind damage in Interlochen, then moved on to Palatka. And then as it moved into St. John's County, closer to 5 a.m. is where a train spotter a visually saw the tornado, and it was a 50-yard tornado. So that's where it was reported in Elkton, where there is wind damage, and that's also where we find Troy Kless. He's been out there all morning surveying the damage. Troy, I know it's we're just looking at images of, of, of damage, but I haven't heard any reports of injuries, and I hope that's the same coming from you as well. That is exactly right, Steve. No injuries to report in this particular area. The only damage that was done that we can see the most visually is here to this particular building here. Now, this is FL Custom Kitchen and Bath here. Uh, we spoke to one of the owners earlier, Laura Orlowski, who says that, you know, she got this call around 5 o'clock this morning about that tornado sweeping through the area. You can see a big screen door just ripped off of, not a screen door, a big metal sided door ripped off of here. Uh, she says that most of uh, the equipment was safe and luckily again, she was grateful that no one was inside when this occurred. Then there's slabs that are broken, um, doors that are inside the building, you know, there's, so you just, your mind just keeps going everywhere because there's so much to look at. But I'm just very, feeling very blessed that some of the things are are safe. So again, no uh, injuries to report here, but as you can see, the uh, sustained winds that swept through this area, dealing a blow to this particular building. And we're going to have more from the business owners coming up uh, later tonight on First Coast News at 6 o'clock. And again, um, this is again some of the dam most visual damage that we've seen in the area this morning. But for now, live in Elkton, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.